Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here comparing iOS 7.0.4 versus the new iOS 7.1 Beta 4. Uh, I've already been going over separately the Beta 4 updates compared to Beta 3, uh, but why not just go over it a little bit quick here again. Um, so of course the big thing here in the latest betas uh, is in the phone app. Uh, that it definitely looks way more different here, more rounded off design inside of, this is the beta 4, this is iOS 7.1.4, uh, way more rounded off call button and all those things. You can see here that it looks totally different compared to the, the kind of like almost ugly menu down here. Looks very, very ugly compared to the rounded off design here that you do get in uh, iOS 7.1 beta 4. Uh, some other additions here uh, that we also did see in like beta 3 and stuff was that uh, you can kind of see that green in iOS 7.1.4 is a little bit too much powerful in, in terms of the green color so they kind of reduced that in, 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 in versions here in beta 3 uh, and then a big thing here of course is that they have changed uh, the uh, slide to, I mean, power the device down. It looks definitely way more badass here inside of the latest iOS version. Uh, and especially the beta 4, uh, which did bring out a pretty cool update when you're sliding here. You can kind of see the text uh, fades in a different way. Uh, than it, what it's doing there in beta 3. I made a video about that. Also, if you want to install this, I will have a link in the description down below that you can check out. You need to get your UD ID, your ID on your iPhone registered if you don't want to pay for full uh, Apple developer uh, account, uh, which definitely could be some good things to know. And another little thing here, of course, is that they also changed the, the lock screen here, um, the kind of like the effect. Looks also, I think, a little bit more badass here in some in uh, here in 7.1 beta 4 than what it's doing here in iOS 7.0.4, which is the official version right now uh, of iOS. Uh, and then also we do have if you do add to contact, you can see uh, here it's a little bit hard to reach. Here they've added a plus button up here at the top. And I think that it's it's a better place uh, where they did place that one. Uh, of course, some other big additions here in, in the latest version of iOS 7.1 is the keyboard. And that also started to get updated in 7.1 beta 3. Uh, you can see way more bolder text and the shift key. And the shift key looks a little bit different. So just a quick little look here at the, some comparisons. Uh, I do kind of like to enjoy to make these videos going over uh, some of those uh, different things. Uh, we have other random stuff in here and there's probably some things that I did miss but uh, you can see choose wallpaper here you see the text choose new wallpaper here you use tap. Here you have the tab up here. And you have some other additions here. If you do preview a wallpaper, uh, you can kind of see the text there, wallpaper preview and stuff. And if it's not a dynamic wallpaper, if it's just normal wallpaper like this, you can see here that you can turn off motion when you're moving the device around which definitely could be some good stuff there to do. Uh, so just a quick little video here, I'm going over some things. Of course, we have bug fixes and, and, and other random stuff. I also heard that the photos icon has changed, but not on the iPhone 5 or the 5S, it seems like, uh, but in the new beta, maybe in, on the 4S and the 4, maybe they have that new. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video here, checking it out if you want to install it yourself. Um, you can't have to do some things that I'm gonna go over in another little video that will, that will link to in the description down below. So yeah, peace out.